Because you can fake for a long time, but one day you're going to show yourself to be a phony. That's for true. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's what these, you know, a lot of people are doing these days. Watch people. No. You probably won't be here right now. second I gotta find it I gotta find it I gotta find it so that I can make sure <clears throat> you crazy boy you crazy you were so crazy monkey you monkeying around okay y'all this is what we're doing for hell week and this is how it goes as follows number one on Monday May 6th y'all listening Monday May 6th it is the kickoff it is the charge it is the kickoff we're going to ask for the mother of Alexis Wilson. We're going to ask for the young lady who spoke about her husband being killed and she got no justice. We're going to ask for activist Cheryl Hill and other residents. We're going to ask for Valerie Stubbs and Mary. Um, we're going to ask for those individuals who have really gone through this in a way that I could never, ever, ever imagine. Because if I've gone through this a little bit, I have no idea what these people have been really going through for the last two years. Now almost three. We're asking them to address us. Tell us their story again. Summarize. We want them to then tell us what Hell Week would mean to them. And they're going to charge us. Even the young lady that was that that dealt with the sexual assault. I'm also asking for the trustees of Dalton to address us, to give a uh, uh, um um uh, um, uh, what is, I can't think of your name, but I see you, Monster Venice. Talk to the crowd. I'm going to give you all the opportunity to talk to the crowd. Tell us what Hell Week would mean for you and charge the crowd. Because we are not going to charge it. Then, the, then I'm going to ask a question from the crowd. Do we have the permission of Dalton after we get room for even the trustees to address us if they so choose and desire? Once we get the charge, listen to what I'm saying. On Monday, right before we go into the meeting and let the people's business be handled. And I want to tell you all this in, in full confidence of what I believe. If they violate the Open Meets Act, we are not, they will not have a meeting. They will listen to the public comments and we will then get the charge for Hell Week. I am fully confident that these trustees are not going to allow anything unlawful to move further from this point on. If they don't let everybody in the room, I am confident as I was last time, there will be no meeting. They will have to wait because until you follow the law, your government is officially illegitimized and people are no longer accepting of your bullying, of your bad behavior. And so with that being said, on Monday, I am asking for everybody to come bringing a wig. Bring a wig, bring pots, bring spoons. Bring wigs, bring pots, bring spoons. Bring a friend. Because once we get the charge, I want wigs spinning in the air. And we're going to have us a little, we're going we gonna to have us a little demonstration right there in front of of the village hall. If they cancel the meeting, I'm still going to see y'all there. Sorry, baby. I'm sorry. Scared my monkey. I'm still going to see you there with your wigs and with your pots. If you decide that you want to give or donate your wig at the end of this, we are going to take those wigs and donate it to places for people who have been battling cancer. Because we know that Tiffany cares about cancer patients. So we're going to take those wigs and we're going to donate the ones that are left to an organization or organizations that provide wigs for individuals who are battling cancer because we really do care. But those pots, y'all take them damn pots back home. But if you have a pot or spoon, we don't want it to seem like there is any kind of threat because there isn't. 
it's just going to be hell. I want you all to leave your pots outside with me. But we're going to try to find something to cover them up because my pot ain't going back in the house. Can't cook, can't, can't cook on the pot no more. Not the pot been outside and using the protest. But if you want your pot back, we're going to have your pot, but your pot's going to stay outside. So making sure it's a pot or a pan with your spoon that you are not going to have a problem with losing. Did you hear what I said? Don't y'all come to that damn meeting without no pot, no, no wig, and no spoon. All right. The next day is going to be the, and then also on this day, you guys, there's going to be the revealing of the individual who suffered this SA sexual assault and have been forced silent for almost a year, suffering silently. There will be no more silence from her. We are going to release her statement. I'm not exactly sure when it is going to be released, but she's going to be making her statement on Monday. It may be after the meeting. It may be before. But this is all I'm going to tell y'all. This is all I'm going to tell y'all. Get ready for your heart to shatter. Your heart is going to crumble when you get the facts that have not been shared. And I promise you all this, after this day, she ain't going to have to be in silent anymore because we're going to fight and it's hell from there. So with that being said, on Tuesday, it is only right that after she speaks, we stand with her. We will then be going on a block. I'll be putting that block out on a flyer, but we're going to meet at a different place on Tuesday standing with sexual assault or standing for sexual assault. I'm going to give her a bullhorn and anybody that have been sexually assaulted the platform to speak to their predator. Listen to what I'm saying. You all hear the words that are coming out of my mouth. We're going to send an image out to the nation that if you sexually assault our women, our children, our innocent men, men, period. If you sexually assault somebody and they choose to stand up, we will no longer leave them without a voice, an advocate or backup. And so we are going to send an image out because everybody there needs to be in a teal ribbon. Or a shirt that is that a shirt that highlights sexual assault or however you want to present it. We're gonna be out there to stand with her and them while they get it out. Tuesday is sexual assault day. That is the rally which we confront predators. We are also going to have a small time or a small window where we're gonna knock on the doors of the surrounding neighborhood and inform them with flyers that there is a potential alleged sexual predator in the neighborhood. That's Tuesday. Wednesday. Y'all got me so far? Every day we look to have voter registration because demonstration doesn't have no power if you don't plan on doing nothing for real. So we're going to have voter registration so that we can make sure that people are registered to vote because when the election comes back around, we want to make sure that it is way more than 8,000 people out of 20,000 or 4,000 people who actually read votes. And if y'all vote for her again, it's on y'all. It's between you and God. On Wednesday, we're going to have a roast rally. I'm going to release the address also on the flyer. There's a fountain that have been destroyed an actual gym in the village of Dalton that have been destroyed. It doesn't have water running out of it. So we're going to go and cause the water of laughter to run. We're going to meet at that fountain. I'm going to pass that microphone around to any and everybody in the crowd, and I'm going to let you get out your joke, and you can laugh right now, because sometimes you got to laugh to keep from crying. We're going to assemble at that fountain. We're going to laugh our asses off. We're going to pop and talk our shit, tell our jokes. We're going to do our impersonations. We're going to make our fun, and guess what? All the the people who've had to cry and been oppressed and have had to suffer and have had to lose and have had to pay. Now we're going to help you get a, a, an ability to, to crack up and I hope you crack up to the point that tears roll down your eyes at a broken fountain because we're going to let the river of laughter flow and from that fountain we're going to march to a skating rink. We're going to talk about that skating rink as you might have heard already. We're going to talk about that skating rink, how it's happened, what that skating rink means about that skating rink. And because this is hell week, we're going to ask the people in the crowd if they think a petition should be started for them to officially rename that skating rink. That's Wednesday. 
on Thursday. It's going to be called a jailhouse barbecue. I'm asking for everybody to wear orange that's going to participate and come out. We're going to assemble in a very public place that is taxpayer paid, that cannot have a restraining order or a restriction on the citizens from being there. We're going to be in front of the Dalton Police Department. We're going to go there with the right to assemble and the freedom of speech. We're going to be outside, assemble lawfully, and we're going to talk about the corruption of a police department that had an opportunity under black leadership, historic leadership, to really serve and protect who chose not to do so. I'm gonna highlight deaths that have not been solved. We're gonna highlight investigations that have been compromised. We're gonna talk about an administration that thought that they were more gangster than they should have been police officers. We're gonna talk about some of the foolish things that they did and why we shouldn't have any confidence in damn near almost nobody that is operating in that department. And then I am going to, with our research, highlight how a very brave officer, one man, made such a brave and selfless decision to stand with a victim, to honor his oath, to serve and to protect. And how is it that in our intelligence today that I found out that that man has been suspended again, that even to this day, they're still targeting, abusing, mishandling, ostracizing, and literally putting unjust pressure on this man. The way we found that out, Literally is the same way I found out that Lacey said to the FBI or said to his colleagues, the FBI, I get my, what they ask for when I want them to get it. And then as it relates to chasing me unlawfully in another jurisdiction, I got the audio. You all know the chief Lacey said, ha, ha, ha. When somebody said, when I saw that camera come on, I was thinking, Lacey, get out of there. And Lacey said, ha, ha, ha. I guess I took it too far, huh? I took it a little too far. Not, not exactly quarter like that, but he said, I took it too far. So you admitted knowing you did too much. Thank you, big mouth, little body, little arms, muscular my ass. Fact checkers have done all their research, what you said on your match.com, and that, in fact, is a lie. I want you all to know that Chief Lacey also said that the mayor had an order of protection against me. We will be getting the dash cam video once we're done splicing, dicing, looking and turning it over. I'm gonna be playing that video of the actual ordeal, ordeal from an investigator's perspective real soon. And in the moment, we're gonna also deal with, look at the report on this live because if he didn't do nothing else, he didn't hear me when I said, I am not the typical activist. I'm a, I am a supervisory special advocate in charge i'm a federal advocate you dummy and so now we'll be talking about that in the coming days your goose is cooked thank you literally for thinking you was gonna do what you've been doing to everybody else so long with somebody who you already knew you should have been respectful of and you didn't scare me you're not scaring me you literally you literally got me afraid afraid for my life because i see you are a rogue unhinged cop and i guarantee you at the end of the day I'm going to out-police the police. So with that being said, because I'm telling on your ass, everything you do, I'm telling on your ass, you're not smart at all. And I'm going to say that, take a pause right there, and say to every officer, I'm going to say it again. And I want you to hear me because y'all say, Jedediah, don't say too much. Don't let your left hand know what your right hand doing. Don't worry about it. Y'all, y'all my right hand. You don't have to understand what I'm doing, but Chief Lacey looking at me right now, punching the hell out the air because I think he know what I got. But I don't know if he know what I got. He'll know soon enough. But when I'm out there in Dalton, this is what I want to say to every Dalton police officer. And I'm going to say this to you blatantly strong and very specific. Don't you let that man make you ruin your career or do something unlawful, something unjust, something corrupt. I am one man. And there's going to be a lot of people out there. If you do anything unlawful, I want you to know that I got friends in very high places that are going to be paying very close attention and or if not be present. And here is the word on the curb. You don't want to cross the line of what is lawful. And I am not afraid of none of y'all in the sense that I am not going to tuck tail and run because it's going to be hell. So do your job the right way. And guess what? You have a duty as a police officer to stop corrupt, excessive, and abusive policing. It doesn't matter, even if it's your chief. Consider yourself warned. You will get no mercy after today. Now, let's go to the next day because we got to go back to Lacey in a minute. So in this jailhouse barbecue, after we get done, I'm asking everybody again to wear what color? Wear orange. 
because we're highlighting the fact that we know we want them to see what it looked like on the yard. Because they've been stealing millions of dollars, being corrupt, weaponizing the government, lying and doctoring documents, shredding stuff, all kind of stuff going on. I want them to see a visual. And I want to send this out to the world because the world is watching of what it looked like to be on the jail yard. So I need everybody to wear your orange. This is going to be the second largest march that we do. When we're done highlighting what's going on in the police department from villains to heroes, we're going to walk from there because word on the curb is the trustees happen to be having a barbecue on the same day at the park district. We're going to join them at their barbecue. I want to eat with the trustees. And from, if I'm not mistaken, there are people all over the place who are now trying to come together and make sure that we have enough stuff for a barbecue from 7.30 to 8 o'clock. It's a trustees barbecue, but for us, it's a jailhouse barbecue. And if you want to contribute something to the barbecue, I don't know none of y'all. I don't want you cooking nothing. I don't know if y'all wash y'all hands. I don't know if you got roaches. So don't get offended because I'm going to say it across the board. I don't know your recipe and I don't know if you put raisins in your potato salad. I don't know if you literally don't use, I don't know what kind of cheese you use in your macaroni. I don't know if your dressing is going to be dressing or stuffing. And I ain't got time to be trying to differentiate between if this is pumpkin pie or if this is sweet potato pie. So I don't know how much sugar you use. Okay, I think you got my point. I don't want y'all cooking for this picnic or this thing. If you cook for this pick this barbecue, I'm going to call the same police that we're going to highlight. Okay? So, and we know that it's predators, it's a predator on the loose that ain't been arrested yet. I don't want nobody getting nothing slipped in they shit. I'm going to be at that thing with my cup the whole time. God bless you. How you doing? Praise the Lord. We're giving them hell, ain't we? I like your orange shoes. I like your orange outfit. I like your orange hair. Hanging over my cup the whole time. So we're literally saying that if you want to contribute to the barbecue, you can, con you can donate to the park district items that are not open, that are unsealed, that still have fucking air in it. You hear me? Air and seals with dates that are not outdated. We need that because I want everybody to eat. We will only, But you will only eat while supplies last. If you be the last person to march from the jailhouse to the, to the rally and you ain't got nothing to eat, don't say Jedediah, you've been raising funds because y'all wasn't listening. We've been using funds to give y'all the amazing evidence. We'll talk about that in a second. So that is what we're doing on Thursday. Friday of Hell Week is called the Freedom. The Freedom. Oh, 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 oh. We're not making light. We're giving them hell. We're bringing this back, putting this village back into the hands of the people. But on Thursday at the Jailhouse Barbecue, I'm asking for you all to do me a huge favor and practice your favorite dance. There will be a DJ. She got DJs. Why shouldn't we? I even think we should play some of the favorite Dalton hits. But in the midst of all of that, we're also going to have one of, I hope to be, the largest soul train line in the history of Dalton. You know, when you dance down the middle. I'm going to particularly probably do the Andrew Holmes. I think I should do the pop. Since I'm an honorary member of the LGBTQ anyway, I think I'm going to be hands on your knees, pop, 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 because I don't think he coming. But we can't have a soul train line in Dalton without the Andrew Holmes twerk. I might have to go ahead and take one for the team. Let me justify my foolishness. Okay, so then on Friday, we're going to have the Freedom Friday March, the Freedom Friday Rally. Freedom Friday Rally is going to be a march with a specific route throughout the village of Darden. I'm not going to put that route up just yet. It is going to be put up closer to the date. But it's the Freedom Friday March and Rally where we're going to have an actual protest, protest through the village. And then the last thing is Saturday. It is going to be tea with the trustees. And I want you all to please do me a favor. Come whenever you can. Come every day if you want to. You do not want to miss this because we're trying to do some amazing stuff. But on Saturday is tea with the trustees. At this particular tea, we're going to be asking for those very same victims who speak to us in the beginning to come to this tea. And I'm asking for you all to do me a favor. 
Everything that we garner and we support that we're going to raise resources and we're going to get some oversized cards because they've been fighting for a long time. And if they ever gave up, we wouldn't have made it this far. And I understand the shoulders to which I'm standing on. But I want you all to listen to me on Saturday at Tea with the Trustees. We're going to infiltrate the trustees event a second time. And we're going to have tea, at the team with the trustees, we're going to honor the people who have fought this fight. And a lot of them don't know who they are. So I'm going to tell you, we will be honoring Matt, Mary, Valerie, Stephanie, Cheryl, Cara, Venus, the young lady who's been fighting for her husband. And I'm going to get in trouble because I'm mentioning names and I can't think of everybody right now. Sherry, people who have gone through things and that have not tucked their tail. I'm going to give you all an opportunity at the end of Hell Week to simply thank them. We want to sow into their life. We want to give them hugs. We want to sign oversized cards for them to take home that they can keep for the rest of their life. Elaine and Sherry. Do you hear what I'm saying? The same people who give us the charge are going to be the same people that at the conclusion of the matter, we thank. And then I have a few things that I'm going to make mention and say of throughout the process. I've given you the verbal understanding of Hell Week. If you thought we was just going to be protesting, you don't know Jedediah. But we got to do it right. We got to do it big. And we got to do something that make but will become the talk of America. Because we want every American city who was suffering corruption and mishandled, mis being mishandled and mistreated to know that you have a voice. Stand up. Take your government back. And don't be afraid. And we will show up for you if you show up for yourself. I ain't going to spend a lot of time doing things that will give them any right or ability to lock up anybody. We ain't going there to go to jail. We're going to utilize our constitutional rights to give them hell. And I want you to listen to me. There will be federal eyes on us. We good. There will be county eyes on us. We good. God's eyes will be on us. We're good. And our eyes will be on each other. Cause you can fake for a long time, but one day you're gonna show yourself to be a phony. That's for true. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's what these, you know, a lot of people are doing these days. Watch people. No, you probably won't be here right now. Mm -hmm.